Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is August 19th, 2020. This is my 21st episode about vector calculus and the classical electromagnetism. In our previous episode, episode 19, in this video, in episode 19, we installed Python from Visual Studio package. But Python included in Visual Studio did not work properly. So I installed Python from python.org by downloading this package. In our previous episode, in episode 20, we learned some basics about Python code using Qt widget C++ application. I tried this code for a couple of days and found some serious problem. And I figured out the problem and finally succeeded. Create a complete Qt widget application that can call Python code in our C++ program. In future episode, I will explain how to implement such kind of application. In this video, I will demonstrate my application. It is in debug build control F5 so our application runs like this. Now I create Python code like this. DEF summation A B it takes two parameter colon print sum prom A to B S equals zero for I in range a b plus one colon s i now we return s this is one python function i will define another function df product a b colon print product from a to b s equal one for i in range a b plus one colon s times i we return s so we define the two python function df sum df product now we save this file save please note that we are in debug build so from this solution root project, we have to select x64. We are in debug build, so we have to select debug folder. Here, my math. This is a Python file, py, save. Then the file name changes like this. From this Python source code, we select a function. For example, we currently selected the summation. If I click once again, then it is selected. Product function is selected like this. Currently, run button is disabled. 1, for example, 5. Product takes two parameters, A and B. So if we provide two arguments, then this button is enabled. I click it. Then product from 1 to 5, this message is displayed in console window like this, and the result is displayed here. Now I search again, I select summation, now 1 to 10. We click run, sum from 1 to 10, this message is displayed and the result is displayed here. This is my application. I created a Python program here and I saved. Then I select a function like this. I currently selected a product. This is too big. If we run it, oh, it worked. It is a factorial from one to 10 factorial. This product is computed like this. Python message is displayed in the console window 
and the computation result, the return value S is captured in the result window. Now I will close it, close it. Now I change it to release build. Okay. We run it again. Ctrl F5. Now it is in release build. Open from here x64 debug we load this file okay now we have to save this file again in release folder because this is a release build we have to select release folder now i save it this is save as here x64 we have to select release folder then i say my python LIV. I will save like this my Python LIV. Okay. Please note that we have to save in the release build folder. Save. Now I select function submission then 100 because we provided two arguments this button is enabled. If I provide one argument this button is disabled. So, we are doing summation from 1 to 100. If we run it, then the result is displayed here. We select product. This number is too big. If we run it, this is garbage result because this number is too big. If I change it to, for example, 5, we run it again, then the product from 1 to 5 is calculated and captured here. Basically, we create Python code in our C++ program. Then we call this Python functions. We can select our function like this. Then we can call. You can download the complete source code by clicking this link. In future episode, I will explain how to implement this kind of program. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.